COVID-19 is a pandemic with up to a 3% mortality rate, which makes it at least 10 times more lethal than the flu. The mortality rate is significantly higher in those over the age of 60 and those with chronic disease. However, new data suggests that everyone is at risk, as increasingly young healthy people are also being admitted to our ICUs to battle this disease. While the virus is believed to have spread to most countries, some, like Singapore and South Korea, have been able to slow the growth of the contagion of the virus. Epidemiologists call this flattening the curve. This means reducing the number of infected people over a period of time. Ideally, the curve is flattened to the point that the number of patients needing access to intensive medical care stays below the capacity of the healthcare system. Because COVID-19 has dramatically changed our way of life, you are likely feeling anxious and scared. You might ask, how can I protect myself, my family, and my patients? How can I help flatten the curve? As an epidemiologist and surgeon, my advice to you is simple. Make sure to be washed. Before I explain how you can be washed, here are some important facts about this disease. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by the RNA virus SARS coronavirus 2. It is a zoonotic illness, meaning that it is a virus that jumped from an animal to a human. The virus is thought to have originated from a bat, and patient zero became infected through an intermediary host, believed to be the pangolin, at a seafood and animal market in Wuhan, China. The reason SARS coronavirus 2 has spread exponentially around the world is because many infected people may not show symptoms and are spreading it to others. This is because the incubation period can last up to two weeks. Those with COVID-19 typically have a high fever, exhaustion, dry cough, and severe shortness of breath. It can also cause diarrhea, red eye, muscle ache, and loss of smell and taste. COVID-19 is projected to infect half of the population. Sadly, many will require admission to ICU and ventilation to survive. But since many developed countries only have one ventilator per 5,000 people, and far fewer are available in developing nations, COVID-19 may end up killing millions around the world. So how can you do your part to stop the spread of SARS coronavirus 2 and help flatten the curve? Just be washed. W. Wash hands. A well-lathered hand wash while singing happy birthday, which is about 30 seconds, should do the trick. This is because the virus has an outer lipid layer and soap breaks it down. A. Avoid face touching. Because the virus can live on surfaces like tabletops for a few days and cardboard for 24 hours, you can easily become infected with the virus by getting it on your hands and transmitting it to your eyes, nose, or mouth. S. Social distancing. Many cases are spread by the release of droplets through sneezing, coughing, or infected people breathing on you. Because of this, if you or your child are outside, you must stay at least six feet away from another person. H. Home. Even better than social distancing is staying home. Most countries that have stopped the exponential spread of the SARS coronavirus 2 have used self-isolation or staying at home as a cornerstone of their public health strategy. T. Take a five-second timeout. Just like a surgeon takes a minute to mark where they're going to operate, teach your kids to take a five-second pause before entering your house. Tell them to assume they are infected and to think about how they can prevent bringing infection into the home. Hand washing, cleaning contact surfaces like doorknobs and handles, washing outdoor clothes, and showering can do wonders to prevent the spread of infection inside the house. So if you want to protect yourself, your family, and your patients during this COVID epidemic, 
and help flatten the curve, take my advice. Make sure to be washed.